real quick before we continue on with the video, I want to give a thank you to the members of Napalm. This channel is completely community sponsored and these are the brave heroes who have stepped forth to strap on their gear and sharpen their blades and are casting the spells of awesome by becoming members of the channel. With exclusive perks, sneak peeks and more, thank you for your support and I think you are interested in supporting the channel. Click join down below for a list of options and add your name to the list of knights and mages on the Council of Napalm. And I want to give a very special thank you to the Lords of Napalm, Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, Farthest Reach, Not Sid, Sparrow, Carsonic, Christopher Hensel, Random Rob, Kenneth Kramer, and Zelic Libd. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Now on to the video. Real quick before we continue on with the video, I want to give a thank you to the members of Napalm. This channel is completely community sponsored and these are the brave heroes who have stepped forth to strap on their gear and sharpen their blades and are casting the spells of awesome by becoming members of the channel. With exclusive perks, sneak peeks and more, thank you for your support. And I think you are interested in supporting the channel, click join down below for a list of options and add your name to the list of knights and mages on the count what is up everybody make sure the audio is working looks like the desktop audio let me fix that real quick There we go. That should do it. There we go. What is up, everybody? Oh, got to switch over to chat here. I hate how it minimizes every time, but that's that's a small problem. Uh, we've got John Diaz. We've got Sopwith. Uh, Sopwith is stuck trying all the classes out in the newbie aisle. Totally understand. All the classes are awesome in this game. Um, come play Vanguard. How's the game? It is fantastic, man. Uh, I'm going to be playing it some and showing it off again today. And we're going to be doing some quests and... Uh, uh, hopefully upgrading our gear a little bit, maybe a, maybe a couple levels, um, and then we'll just see. We'll just see what kind of trouble we get into today. Uh, so yeah, definitely worth it. I got a link in the description to make it super easy. Um, it is the VGO emulation server, uh, because that is the only way to play Vanguard as of now. However, uh, I am pushing hard to get the attention of Daybreak and EG7 to uh, either just release the Basically, if they just release the, because uh, they may have no interest in like releasing this game officially, that's fine. But just get that database uh, to the developers of uh, the VGO emulation, which I can help them get in contact with those people if they'd like to do so any day now. Because with that database, they can at least keep Brad McQuaid's vision alive uh, with the simulation server. So as long as people have a way to play Brad McQuaid's uh, last finished project, I think that's fair. And plus, uh, talk about some good PR uh, to the people uh, announcing that they uh, are allowing this server and giving it the proper data that it needs. Because uh, the developers have done a great job 
game is fully playable. Uh, well, fully is uh, maybe something you could debate. It is playable up to, we don't really know yet, somewhere 30s and beyond. Uh, but they're having to do this all from scratch because they don't have the database. Um, so it's very difficult to do that. Uh, so it's really slowed down the development. Uh, we've got more people piling in here. What's up, Archbishop? Kuros is here. Vaughn, I uh, logged on last night after two years away. Thought it well, thought I was level 28. But it was 36. I've got to play later to get back in the groove. Many more skills now available. That's right. They've done a lot of work. Um, close friends from my EverQuest skill play Vanguard back in the day. I never got the chance. It is awesome. Um, oh, you've got a... Uh, Oh, you turned down the fog. Nice. That's a good hint. Um, you're here. VGO has been a fun server. I miss playing Vanguard Shaman so much. Yes, had a very good Shaman. Yes, Mr. Optimism. Totally true. All right, well, let's get going. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. I think I'm in a low-level area. Yeah. Uh, let's hop on our mount. I was healing some people the other night. Just came here. There was a bunch of people. Uh, I think it was Friday, Saturday night, I think. Um... So I'm over here in this area. So, uh, let's see. Looks like we've out-leveled a few of these quests. Let's look at, uh, what was this one? Let's just pull up our log here. Let's see what we should be doing next. Uh, we did locate that. I think we can actually turn this one in. We located the mound, so let's go back to the guard and turn this quest in. should work. Fly our way there. What's up, Le uh, Leaf Binder? How you doing? There's 20 people playing in Nathan's Guild from two years ago. Yeah, we've got a lot of new people joined, too, since I started playing again a ton. So, if we go into... Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. What's going on here? We found some kind of wall. I think it's... I think it's... Oh, the area's currently down or locked. Oh, weird. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. Hang on a second. Look at the map here. Oh, I can't go over there. There we go. Now it's up. Interesting. Too many people there or something? Nope, 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 nope. Still not letting me over there. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if it's because there's too many people. And that, because each chunk has a server, I believe. This is weird, isn't it? <laughs> May have to go somewhere else. Let me see, where am I, though? I think everything's over there. Yeah, I wonder if that's what it is. That it can't chunk over. Your dragon was having a heart attack. <laughs> More flying mounts besides Pegasus. Nice. Yeah, there's quite a few actually. I've seen a I've seen several. I don't know how many there are. That's so weird. Like we cannot go over in that area. This game uses a really weird system to be open world, um, chunking, and and from what I understand, each like big chunk is on its own little, almost like a. It's on database. Dang, dude, I can't go nowhere. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to play today or not. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do in this scenario. Let's see if we can find some way around it here. Jeez, I can't go anywhere. I've never seen this before. Maybe they're working on that particular zone or area. Is all I can figure. Nothing has ever been over there. That's the way it's telling me to go, though. My things aren't showing up on my. Oh, I'm on. That's because I'm on Isle of Dawn, I guess. Uh, all right, here we go. Where are we at? Am I on the Isle of Dawn somehow? Why am I here? That's why, because I'm trying to fly out of the owls. What? All right, we gotta find the. No wonder that was happening to me. So that wasn't a problem with the game. Why am I even in the Isle of Dawn though? 
That is not where I logged out at. Hang on a second. I am going to find the, uh, gotta find the portal to, to get out of here then. It's really weird that I'm even here though. That is not where I logged out at. I don't know what's going on here. Um, where can I go? Let's see. Let's zoom out. This must be it over here. Okay. Alright. Let's find that little town. Yeah, why am I on the Isle of Dawn? Yep. Can't wait for Pantheon. That's right. So this is the newbie area um, where you'll start out at. Well, you don't have to start out here, but I recommend it. Because you'll get your Pegasus mount here, etc., etc., etc. I don't even know if I remember where that stone was. Let's see if we can find it. Um, dang, I don't, I don't remember. Let's keep flying till we see it. I even this is really weird guys I did not log out in Isle of Dawn that's why I was so confused I definitely this is not where I was maybe there was some kind of server uh, update since I last played I think what we'll, we'll, I think I last played Friday yeah maybe it, it caused my character to get back here uh, where is it is it this one maybe across the bay I think it's this one because that's I think that's the city where you start so maybe it's here where is it I thought it was behind that chief guy's house which I think is this one isn't it the map show where it was the map doesn't show anything um northeast yeah but i don't know where the starting point is dude oh whoops i accidentally got rid of my mount oh boy what a mess uh how do i get out of here i would have done this before i got on the freaking stream if i'd have known i was in the isle of dawn I swore it was here Okay, let's fly up. Let's fly way up, see if we can see it. I don't see it in that area. That's the little town where everything's all broken that we did the quests at. So let's keep heading northeast, maybe it's further along. Rift guys right behind the quest hub temple on the last island. Shimmering waves or something. Let's check over. Oh, I don't see nothing over here. I know it was definitely a town. I remember that. That's uh, I remember that place. Anyway. You guys are getting to see the Isle of Dawn in, in all its glory. I hate it when I accidentally end up in situations like this on a stream. Because this is the kind of thing I really would rather do. There's that dungeon. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. No, this is where we were. Dang it, I don't know where to go. Maybe this is it, actually. Because that is that final little area where you're at. There it is. Yes, finally. All right. I don't know why I was here. Uh, let's go to, uh, you know, really, well, this is where we were. This is where we got quested, so we'll just go there. I'll wait, because tomorrow we'll be playing with our group, and we'll be, uh, we'll be trying out, um, what's that other area called, uh, Search the K, uh, uh, 
I'll see when I got the map here. Found it! Finally. Yeah, I'm glad it was that temple or else. I don't know if I remember. It's just I saw the temple. I remember doing all this quest to that guy on the inside. Okay. Now. This is where I thought I was. Alright, see if the map, if the compass is taking us the right way. Uh, but yeah, let me look at the map. So tomorrow, uh, when we finish the Isle of Dawn, we're actually going to be going to uh, Kojin. Uh, we're in Thestra right now. Because um, I really do like this zone. But I want to see Kojin again. It's been forever. It's all forestry and beautiful. That's where I actually went to the first time I played the game. That was where my character started at. Yeah, Kojin. That's it, Leaf Finder. All right, and I did do some. I did do some setting changes, and I know there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of frame rate loss right now, uh, or just a second ago, mainly because of the chunking. But uh, let me know how the stream does because I did try to uh, like it's it's loading the chunk right now. It always scares me because sometimes the mount disappears. I kind of said that at the wrong time because the game's just actually loading right now. Uh, which is one of the reasons Brad McQuaid and Panfield thought he was going to have to do zones. Because he didn't want it to do that. That chunking thing you just seen. Um, but anyway, I did upgrade the resolution of the stream a bit. So I'm interested to see um, how it runs today. Because I live in Wisconsin. Wisconsin is not known for having the best internet. Internet kind of sucks in the whole state, to be honest. Okay, maybe the guard is in this little town. We did that uh, ant mound right here that we're passing, uh, the Mound of Zither. That was a really cool dungeon. Uh, of course, we didn't see it all. That would take many, many, many weeks, probably. But we did get to go and fight the, the queen, the boss queen. Okay, I must have got it from in this place. Something keep search of an R. All right, here we are. And he should be in here. There he is, Captain Binbarian. Nice weather, eh? All right, we did this, finding the mound. How goes the search? This is exactly what I feared. The ants are but a stone's throw away, and we are confined to these walls until Lord Renton says differently. As you can see, I've been ordered to move my men inside the gates and man the keep itself. While I'm not the one to question orders, I am concerned as to what the local populace is going to do without the patrols on the road. The people of Renton Keep could really use your help, if you are willing. Alright, Zero Invasion, calling the Best Gatherers. How goes the fight, my friend? Excellent work. The gatherers are the most immediate threat, and clearing them will out will certainly help make the farm safer. I give you my thanks. I fear there's much to be done to protect the citizens, but perhaps with your help it will be possible. Uh, searching within the mountain itself will be worthwhile. If I hear anything in so make sure to let you know. How can I assist you? Alright, so we got those two quests done. What else do we have here? Because you can continue doing quests and going back in that mound all you want for quite a while. Um... Yeah, great cheese. Internet sucks, but great cheese, that's exactly right, Wizen. Uh, great dairy products in general. Uh, I love Darn Pharmacy. Moving from south clockwise to north. Nice, didn't know that. Checking the Starlink if you can't afford it. I don't know. So we got internet that's okay, right? Like, I, I the, the thing is, is like, the download speed is good. It's like, you know, 600 megs, right? So it's pretty good. Um... And it stays steady between five to six hundred. So the download is fine. The upload kind of sucks. It's like 25 megs. Um, and where we lived previously, we had uh, fiber optic. So I'm just a little spoiled. Uh, but anyway, I think that it should be able to handle it. Um, you guys just let me know what it looks like. If it looks good because I was before just to try to keep a good frame rate I was streaming at a, a very crappy resolution but when I went back and watched the videos man I almost couldn't stand it there's wise and what's up <laughs> all right let's see what quest we have now and by the way anybody who's interested in playing this game I have the link in the description down below come join us man uh, come join us 
and let's get this population bumping and we will uh we will definitely uh be pushing to get daybreak's attention so we can get uh you know this game in some kind of playable state a hundred percent uh whether they, that they decide to open an official server or they decide to get that database to uh the simulation team that's worked so hard for all these years uh making this game into a, a playable mmo uh but as far as quests go what do we have left here tome of stone wait did i not turn that in just now why is that still showing hang on Stone ancient, it is still showing here. Oh no, that's a different one. Uh, what level is that? 18? Mm, find the ancient stone bound tome in Kegger's End in a room near the Deep Stone Tavern. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see what's going on with this one. Let's do this one. Oops, I don't think I clicked the. Whoop. There we go. Alright, let's see what's up with this quest. Yeah, just get Daybreak to release what they have. Sounds like streamer problems specifically. It is. The internet would be fine. Like, normal normal people would have no issue with what I got. Um, but Wisconsin's known for, like, some areas just don't have internet. Or they have really bad internet. Um, we specifically, that was a big deal because I do YouTube and stream. Um, when we were looking for a house, we found an area that had the best we could find. Um... It would be plenty good enough for somebody just playing games, but streaming specifically, you need a really good upload to do, like, really high-quality streams. Um, but, you know, Fiber Optic's coming. They're releasing it in other areas surrounding me, so... And then I can do a uh, much higher resolution and higher-quality streaming. Uh, get David to release what they have. That's what I want. That's exactly what I want, Wizen. That'd be good enough. That'd be... That'd be... Mwah! And they get good... PR and uh, look like the heroes and all that kind of stuff. What's up, John Witt? How you doing, man? Good morning. <laughs> yeah, a definite fire risk. Agreed, Leaf Finder. Flying through these forests with a flame on his tail. Not not so good. Not so good. Oh, I guess it's down there. Okay, so it wants me to go inside Kegger's End. Alright, let's see what it looks like in here because this is a dungeon. If this is really where it wants me to go. Let me look at the quest again. Um, apparently they discovered a book bound in stone at some point and tossed it aside. I want that book. Somewhere in the mine. I would like it found. Please return to me if you manage to find it. I'm, uh, okay, so it's in a room. Okay, then. Well, it is in here. I probably can't do this on my own. Let's see what happens. My butt. Alright, we're gonna run this off. We're gonna run. We're probably gonna die. Do my little hilt. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough of whatever it is I need. Oh, stuck on the wagon. Go, go, go. Is he off of me? Nope, nope. Run, the dwarf! Okay, he's off of me. Alright, well, in this case, I can't go down in there right now. Uh, what else do we have? A deeper mystery. There's some evidence to suggest those breakers have come across some. Uh, that is, Queen Simpson kind of could be quite helpful. Alright, that's also that dungeon, which we'll just have to do at another time. Um, that's Kegger's End. Kegger's End. 
Oh my gosh, I still haven't beaten this one. Well, this is one more high enough level that we can finally do and shouldn't have any issues. So let's actually untrack that one. Let's see if we can finally finish this one. This one I've been having a lot of trouble. I know the quest works because I was with uh, Sparrow who got it done. Um, but I can't get it to... I can't get it to finish. So I'm going to go back there and try this one. Dungeons are definitely group affairs, which is awesome. Um, I'm just in a bit of a disjointed morning and not ready to commit to doing a dungeon at this time. However, tomorrow we will be doing um, group content. Um, so we got a static. I got a different character. I'm playing the uh, Dread Knight. So tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. we'll be doing that stream with the whole full group. Yep, definitely those spiders kicked my booty. Uh, you're going to die against those four. Yep, yep. That quest had to be done at night. Yeah, but if we go and fly there now, um, we can be ready for it. We can kill wolves in the meantime. Whoa, that was a glitch. We went flying way up into the air. We're bouncing. All right. May have to just get off this guy. There we go. All right. What do these guys con? 12. And these are 16. That's a little better. Yeah, the wolves didn't, don't pop until, until night. We can hang out here and level up until it gets night and then see if we can finally finish this quest. Is this a cool quest? I want to finish it. What's up, Elliot? Well, maybe there's not enough stuff here to kill during the day. Let's see if it triggers in the day. It's supposed to be right here, like the Developer actually showed me a screenshot, but we came here at night last time I played and I got nothing. Let's see if these guys are too low of a level to get XP. yesterday when I tried it. Everything is okay until you get to the escort part. Oh, I don't think I've gotten to that part. Ooh, level 35. Rise on. So you had issues with it as well. Well, Sparrow d got this part done. So I at least when it gets as far as I can, and then I can at least help uh, make the developers aware of wherever it's bugged at so they can get it fixed. Because they they think it's working. Let me put it that way. So you, uh, Trips also had a problem with the escort part. Hey, what's up, Sparrow? I'm still trying to do this quest. Uh, we, I gotta wait for night, though. It's definitely not gonna work during the day. It looks like it's starting to turn evening time, so I don't have much more time left. And I definitely want to do this. I want to finish up this quest. So I'll just hang out here, kill snakes, and uh, chat with you guys until it turns night. Not too much longer now. We can also run around town. Uh, see if there's somewhere to sell something, actually, while we're waiting on night. Xenix mentioned he disabled the escort part so you can get past it. There you go. Nice. Nice. I don't remember if there's anybody here to sell to or not. Let's see if we can find somebody. I 
think it might be. Isn't there another part of the town like up the hill or something? Or am I thinking of another area? Oh, here. We can we can fly right over here, actually. I know there's people to sell to over here. This is what I think it is. Yeah, it is. All right. Diplomat. Here we go. Oh, fly up. There we go. Here we go. Uh, plus, I probably need... Um, probably need to repair my gear, too. Is there a... Maybe the weapon vendor can do it? And I checked the paladin too, so there's any new I'm sure I've got some new abilities also. Come to the right place. Repair my gear. Okay, maybe I don't need it. Okay then. Alright then. Show me your wares. Alright, let's open up our full inventory here. Yeah. We've got a lot of stuff to get rid of. But we probably have upgrades here. Maybe. Get rid of all this extra stuff. It's a two-hand man. That's powerful, though. I'm gonna not get rid of that. Get your file spring. Ooh, this kept dropping. Um, got a bunch of those. Uh, that's either hand 24 to 36. Don't need that. He said he was getting too many bug reports and didn't have time to fix it, so it's disabled for now. Exactly. Yeah, it's a small team. That's why the database would help. Because that would give them the information he needs to instead of like individually trying to do each and every little thing. He would have the database um, that would have all that information already there. Because the launched game had already fixed all these problems. He's having to go through individually and build, you know, like fix it from scratch. Getting ready for an appointment. Heard that lurking? Absolutely, that'll work. Um... Uh, Anyone from the guild wants to start Hunter's League when I get on after work. Starts at level 12, I think. Great rewards. Yeah, Renfell was talking about that when we were playing, um, uh, I think, P99 last Friday. He was talking about that that, that quest line. And also, I think that Xenix is uh, on vacation right now, by the way. Uh, he's taking a little break, um, I think, for this week. Yes, Grain God is good, and we're playing Vanguard Saga of Heroes some more. Look at all this. Man, I got a lot. I got a lot. Uh, 15 to 27. It's going to take some time. Ooh, that's an upgrade. So we want to... I'm going to slide that over here. Ooh, 50. No, no, no. It's not an upgrade. Get rid of all the red. Definitely can't use that. 32. Get rid of that. 32. It kind of looked like a shield. But it wasn't. Uh, here's a shield though. 53. Nope, we got better. 18 to 27. I want those apples though. Um, get rid of all these red. about this shield. Nope. 15. Nope. Alright. Here we go. Lead them out. Wait, wait. That's a quest item. That's weird. Okay. And then we got a helmet. 46. Nope. Eighteen twenty-seven. Nope. 24, nope. nope. That was a quest item. Okay, 60. We can get rid of that. We almost got our inventory caught up. Get rid of that, 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 that. What's this? That looks like it might be a really good weapon for somebody else, so I'm going to leave that. What is this? 
Begins a quest. Alright, we might leave that alone. Okay then. It's much better. Let me move things around a little bit. Get our food all together. Wait, I can sell that. And that. And that. No, maybe not. Alright, let's organize it just a little bit. Perfect. Now... There we go. Alright. Good to go. Now let's go back. It's almost night. It's getting it's getting evening time. Oh, let's check the Paladin Trainer. See practice, what upgrades practice, we got. Practice. Gave thing to teach me. Oh my goodness, we got a lot. Looks like we're upgrading our Lay on Hands. Uh, our buff. Champion's Might. A lot of upgrades. Holy Strike. Cry of Solace. This Warcraft provides 412 health to you and your allies. Nice. And I'm going to have to add some more hot bars. Let's do that real quick before we continue no. this. Um, I think it's under Escape, Settings, Interface maybe. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Hot bar left. What's this one? Oh, I see. We just got to move the UI. That does add another one. Perfect. That's all I need. And then, um, by the way, guys, this is how you change. If you want to move stuff around, like see how my buffs and my stances are kind of, um, they kind of get in the way. You can go to escape, settings, interface tab, um, layout mode, check it, and then you can move stuff around. Whoops. You can move stuff around. Um. So you can organize it the way that you want it. So I'm going to do it like this. So let me just give me a buff, I think. Or I clicked my own by accident. I did. I changed my stance, I think. All right, so now that's the way I like it. Uh, so now I'm going to unclick layout mode. Hit accept. Bam. There we go. And you can move all your stuff that way. Um, hey, Nathan, what state do you live? I live in Wisconsin. Uh, what level is the pally? Can't see on mobile. Oh, um... Uh, level 19. I'm level 19. And what's up, Click? Hey, bo Bootstrapper, what's up? Um, uh, what else we got here? Uh, a minute ago, I got griefed by my own teammate in... Oh, Rocket League. Okay. I, would, I thought, who would do this in ranked? Looked him up. 10,000 matches played. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. Let's head back. It's almost nighttime. It's almost nighttime. Let's... Up on our, oops, up on our dragon. Fly back over to town. All right, it's almost night. It's almost night time. Let's see if we can get this baby to work. This would be a good experience for me to be able to help others when they do this quest. Because this is... Uh, I heard a lot of people saying this is one of their favorite quests. They really like this one. So if I know how to get around all the quirks of it, I can help others. This quest, just you have to do it at night, Archbishop. That's all. This part of the quest, I'm sorry. Clover and investment hype. Yeah, dude. Freaking getting Steve Clover on the team is a really big deal. You know, he was senior programmer for EverQuest, for Vanguard, and now for Va uh, sorry, for Pantheon. So that's that's epic level. And then big investment, 2.4 million added to the uh, what they already had. That's like a, one investor. Um, and it shows a lot of confidence in the game, which means that, like, you know, all the naysayers can shove it because, trust me, a single investor would not put $2.4 million down on a product that they didn't believe in. Like, really believe in, too. That's a good that's a good chunk of change right there. Which means they can hire more people, etc., etc. Alright, it's almost nighttime, guys. And, uh... 
I'm wondering if I shouldn't just delete that quest item. I feel like that was the evidence. If you look at it, wh where's it at by night? No, it does say invest. No, it does say I found the evidence. Okay, then. He was saying somewhere around here I need to be. It's not night yet, so almost. Got to think it's connected whether he uh, brought the investment or the investor popped on due to the clover. Yeah, there's something I would think linked there. Or it could just be the timing of everything right now, right? I mean, the, the HDRP pipeline's done. The network is, um, you know, uh, you know, at a point now where it can be tested. Um, and the world's looking really good. And it could just be that we're just at that point now where people are starting to be like, Oh, Pantheon's looking good. You know what I mean? Yes, Torch. Thank you. I always forget. They chart graphics and network tech probably sealed the deal. Yes, I agree. I agree, Click. I think we're just... We're at that point where Pantheon's going to start getting a lot of attention now. It was so early before and it felt early and it felt, you know... It felt like such a long way off, etc. That it's hard for an investor to be like, "Yeah, I'm on board." You know, obviously there were some that were, but because um, they already had secured, uh, you know, 2.6 million or so in private investors prior. But that might have mainly been because of Brad McQuay. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's starting to look legit now, so that makes a big difference. I would say this is night time. I would consider this night. It's, we've got the uh, wolves out. Let's see if we can get this stupid quest to work. I think I really think it's glitched on mine. I really do. Because I was doing the same thing Sparrow was doing. And she got it and I didn't. And he literally told me to, that the ping was like here the front of that gate. And I know that I have ran around this area like a bazillion the times. Let's head out in the forest a little bit then. I'm excited for Pantheon despite the weight. Me too, man. Me too, Quest. Me too. And probably almost everybody here, if not everybody here. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, for anybody in chat, tonight at 9 p.m. Central, which is 10 p.m. Eastern. We've got a special EverQuest TLP on Yellowknack, the new, uh, the new, the new, one of the newest TLP servers, Yellowknack on EverQuest Live. We're doing an event there. If you want to join us, roll up a level one Erudite, uh, which starts in Eridan, and, uh, you'll want to be naked, and, uh, you'll want to go to the, uh, Discord guy and turn in your, your little thing, your little book thing, uh, to him. Which activates PvP, and then we're all gonna meet up right outside of Arida, Aridan. And uh, tonight there's another event happening, right? Where some naked gnomes who have activated PvP, a big old bunch of them, are gonna be rolling up on Aridan. What they don't know is that we'll be waiting for them. And when they get there, clash, PvP, baby. Uh, level 1 naked erudites versus level 1 naked gnomes. So, super easy to do. If you have an EverQuest account, come join us. We're gonna That's going to be tonight. I'll be streaming it. And um, it's going to be hilarious. So, if you guys are interested in doing something fun in EverQuest tonight. And joining the Kick a Gnome campaign. Um, and come join me. 
<laughs> yes, Margaret will be. Okay, that one's not working, okay. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it. It just pinged. Nice. I don't know what I did to get it, but I got it. Alright, cool. So, it's just wander around the forest at night, it seems like. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I finally got it. Um, which one was that? By night. And now we just gotta turn it in. To this guy. What now? Welcome to my humble homestead, Traveler. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Blah, blah, blah. By night. Alright, uh, his eyes widen a bit. You're back? I mean, you're back! Good to see you. What did you find? Dude, this guy totally killed that little boy, by the way. This is the real cannibal dad right here. Oh, yes, this looks familiar. It looks like the shirt Durnham was wearing the last time that he was here. So it seems we faced the worst possible explanation. He fell prey to the same creature stealing the livestock. Well, good thing you've taken care of the problem. I'm sure that everyone will, will be grateful. Nice weather, eh? Now, I'm afraid that you bear a grim task of telling the boy's mother what happened. I'm sure she uh, has been plenty worried, as would any parent. Also, I ask that you not say anything to my daughter, as something like this would certainly crush her young, fragile soul. I don't think her moping about the farm. I don't need her moping about the farm. Thank you for your understanding. All right. Let's do it. Let's go tell his mama. I don't think the dude's dead, though. I don't think the little kid's dead. This guy right here. That's your, that's this is my suspect. I think that guy, the dad, killed him. You just make a huge blade scythe, cut the field grass, and throw it on your roof. That's right. That's that's the good old life right here. It's the good old life back in the day. You're like, oh, the roof is leaking. No problem. Actually, in reality, her life is way easier than it was back then. Ooh, that music. That music it was touching my soul a little bit. You guys hear that? It's good. It's good. Thank you, Christopher Hensel. Cannibal dad for the win. Do, do, do. Cannibal Dad! Thank you, Christopher Hensel, for Super Chat, man. Thank you very much. Almost halfway to go already with your one Super Chat. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, never thought I'd be the one to normalize cannibalism, but uh, here we are. Here we are. Alright, let's swoop down. Looks like this is where his mama lives. Bard Song of Healing. Cannibal Dad was next level. It was my daughter's idea. <laughs> my daughter's idea. I was taking her to her practice. And she just, like, was like, you know what would be funny? It'd be funny if we did, like, and she was, like, comparing it to, like, old shows that I watch every once in a while, you know? She was like, you know, those old shows you watch where people are laughing and stuff? She's like, it'd be funny to do one like that, except for it was, like, a family, but the dad was a cannibal. <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> that is indeed content for Cringe Pony. All right, let's uh, find his mama. But she's in a different house, according to the compass. This house. I like that little creaking sound when doors open. It's the little things. It's the little things. Um... Her mama. Oh, oh boy. This kind of information. Let's see, let's what, see no. what she says. Hmm. Rolda cries desperately. Well, well, what have you heard? Please, good or bad, I need to know where my son is. She buries her hands in her face as she sobs. No, 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 this can't be. He was such a strong and loving boy. My worst fear. I've lost my son to wild wolves. He made that trip so many times, I can't understand why they would suddenly come out and attack a traveler. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, my son. My boy. Why are you bothering me? Okay, new quest. 
Rhoda looks at you with tears streaking down her face. I know that I might sound like a grief-stricken mother, but I cannot believe that some wolves just randomly killed my son. Take these clothes to Sarah Kalen. While I don't normally believe in her hocus pocus, she's uncanny knack for well knowing things that no one else does. See if she can't divine something from Dernan's shirt. Maybe then we can find out what's really going on. Hmm, she's like a witch? Sarah Kalen. I'm a bit busy. Okay. Interesting. Uh, that's when you know you're doing it right as a parent. <laughs> it's a famous similar skit. Too many cooks. Uh, yes, that's what I thought of when my daughter said it. I remember that. It was too many cooks took it like really dark though. Um, that was from Adult Swim, but I do remember that. So I, in the filming process, I was you could you could tell I was inspired by that. Too many cooks where he like he's like a murderer. But it like that one like goes into weird like like that one gets really weird. It, it goes into like sci-fi. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't seen it in a long time. I just remember it get it gets it gets crazier the longer it goes. Part of this quest doesn't work when you go through the escort portion of it. It seems to be broke. Yeah, Destroth. So apparently the developers have disabled that part when I get to it, so that it can be bypassed until they can fix it. In game mail systems to work. I believe it does, Vaughn. Um, I believe it does, yes. Let me make sure I'm even got the right one. I don't. Track quest. Uh, yes, to Sarah. There we go. Alright. Let's find this. I think she might be a witch. Now, that's what I was told, Deseroth. Uh, so we'll see when we get there. And plus, by being disabled, we'll have to see how that really looks. You know what I mean? Like... Whoops. Sorry, every time I click on the second screen, it, it minimizes this one. It's only an issue in Vanguard, um, for some reason. But can you guys notice that compared to the other times I've streamed Vanguard, does the stream look better? Because I did up the quality a bit. And it looks like it's still running good. I'm seeing how far I can push it. Because I thought that I had lowered everything because I was having trouble on WoW Classic. But that was a setting in the game. Uh, so I was like, oh, then I can probably up my quality of my stream again. Um... I thought it was my internet being the issue, but it wasn't. Uh, they put it in the description to just go straight to the turn in NPC to skip through. Oh, you just skip it. Nice. Thank you, Trips. Great information to know. Then you can get what they need from Daybreak to finish this. That's exactly why I'm doing this, JMLD. Um, that's all I want, right? And I'll, I'll we can... Excuse me. I'll take multiple paths to get Vanguard out. Because this was Brad McQuaid's final released game. Pa Pantheon will be his final game, but it's not released yet. So, I want it... People need to be able to play it. It's it's important to the historical value of, of video games, of MMORPGs, and to the legacy of Brad McQuaid. He deserves his legacy to be available, right? In my opinion. So, if we get that database, get it in the hands of emulators, they can get it out faster, right? However... If they don't want to do that, which I would understand, they own the IP. They rightfully, lawfully own it, right? So they may be like, hey, we don't want to. You know what I mean? It, it belongs to us, um, and we get nothing out of doing that, right? So if they want to play that way, which, hey, that's their right, um, then I, I want to start talks of buying it from them, right? Like, give it, like, how much would it cost then? How much would you sell the IP for, right? Then we can do what we got to do, man. If I got to start streams and collect the money and we'll do a uh, crowdfunding and um, I don't know, man. We'll do whatever it takes. Um, and, we'll, I, I, you know, we'll get the IP back. Um, it's one way or the other. And I'm not going to stop until they give it to me. They're going to, they're, uh, you know, not give it, but sell it to me. Give the database. Release the game officially on their own server and, and add a cash drop. I don't care. Uh, the game just needs to be available. That's, that's all. 
All right, let's see what Sarah Caleb has to say. Be cautious, a beast unlike any other roams these lands. You know what? Oh my gosh. I think I know what's going on here, guys. I think I know what's going on here. The dad is a freaking werewolf. And he ate the boy. Don't tell me if I'm right. Don't tell me if I'm right. Um, his fury is unmatched. So he trembles the land. The eye of Fawtree keeps well, friend, what do you have for me to look at? She takes the torn rags. Ah, oh, these are Dernan's clothes. I take it. Hmm, yes. They bear mundane stains of soil and blood. Unnatural stains of a curse. Uh, let's see. No matter... You are now probably the only one able to keep this curse from claiming the whole of three rivers. And that may be all you need to understand. How are you this day? She tosses the torn clothes into the fire pit. The curse that claimed Dernan Hainer spreads not unlike the swarm of locusts. It can consume all that it comes in contact with. The situation and the threat of three rivers grows more dire each night. I want you to go out, check the other wolves. But you must do so by moonlight. Oh, we gotta hurry then. Um, alright, alright, alright. Gotta hurry while it's still night. Go, go, go. Let's make sure it's the one track. Done. Let's go, let's go. Gotta hurry. While it's night. I don't know, Quest. I feel like... I feel like it's an unused IP for years. I don't know. I don't know. I hate to throw a number up, because I have no idea. Uh, what expansion? That's a good question. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look it up. Did he leave SOE and go to Sigil? Uh, it was roughly... Uh, what was the one after Planes of Power? What was the next expansion called? Uh, I think it's that one. I think it's the one after Planes of Power. Was it the last one he was involved with? Or it might have been Planes of Power. Uh, I do know that Steve Coder left after Planes of Power. Yeah, and I think that's the, about the same. It's roughly the same time Brad They left practically together. I mean, the dudes are were like really close friends. Yes, there's flying mounts. Yep. They were added. I might be wrong, right? I think they were added later on. Gates of Discord. Yeah, I think it was around that time. Yep. Could be wrong, though. It's hard to put a value on it. That's right. It's hard to put a value on a dormant IP. I mean, it's worthless to them at this point. They're making zero dollars. That's why I think it's possible they just get the database. Because what do they care? You know? And, they, and here's the other thing. Daybreak allows P99. They're totally cool with it. They feel like that's so different from what they do. That it doesn't hurt anything. Um, you can give yourself them full time. Right, 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 right. For now. They're changing all that. Because the game's in alpha right now. Uh, so it helps people test, get places, etc. Um, but things will change uh, when this game has all the data and it's considered launched. If we don't hurry up kill these wolves, we're not going to make it. All right, so we're killing wolves, I assume. What it sounded like. Well, uh, was it? I think you meant planes of power, right? That's what we're getting. We're getting bits of ripped clothes, it looks like. We've got a little bit of time on night. If we hurry. I don't know why I'm killing a snake. I thought I was on a wolf. Alright, here we go. And I need to get my stuff up. I need to switch my stance. It's going to damage him over here. More ripped clothes. All right, got a shaman with me now. Oh. 
Goran. Okay, we can slay him even faster. Let me put on Round Robin, though. He might need this quest, too. No, no, no. Loot options. What's going on here? I think this has been disabled now, too. Oh, that's because he's the group leader. I'm an idiot. You need the quest as well. I'm going to be taking all the loot if he needs it. I don't know if he's just helping me or if he also needs a quest. Shammy will go hammy. That's right. Yeah, and... Ooh, snap. Lay on hand to save my butt once. Hill, hill, hill. There we go. Alright, we almost got it all. Hope oh, you already got some full. There's eight. We only need two more. <laughs> Dev said they would wipe um, when it is ready and everyone start fresh. Yes. That's right. Which will be so much fun, dude. If we get this game to like a full, like, launch state. I mean, it's pretty close. There's plenty to do. But like, man, how epic would that be? This is a really good game, dude. Alright, we beat it. That was it. Kill these wolves on our way out of here. I don't know. I bet you the wolf can tank pretty well. Yeah, P9 down. I totally agree, Graham. Um, that is Shaman Pets. Yep, 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 yep. And yes, when it's all done, there will be a white. Uh, let's go turn this in now. Oh, do I turn into this guy? No, to the daughter, uh, maybe? Is that who it's want me to turn into? Isn't she in here? I'm not sure. Let's see what it says. Uh, by night, by night, by night. Uh, at least I thought that's what it was called. Yeah, by night. Here we go. Bring Sarah Kalem. Oh, it's the witch lady. Oh, I see why it's doing that. It's because I still got the quest marker set to tell me where the farm is. Um, oh, shoot. I don't remember where she was. Uh... Where was she? I just kind of flew there. Um, I was watching the compass. I don't remember where she was. Uh, hang on. Oh, snap. I should have been paying more attention. Um, let's see. Where was she? Maybe she'll show on here. Was she in Three Rivers? She might have been. Marina, Captain Benarian, as uh, yeah, that's all. It, there she is. Woo, woo! Thank goodness. All right. So what is that? Northeast. All right. Big problem with new MMOs. Um, 
Bear, yeah, bear sounds like a good tank. Yeah, I remember playing as a giant and having to duck to enter these homes. It got old eventually. That's what I like about EverQuest 2 as well. Um, having to duck to get in. Alright, she's over here. Spawn rates on mobs on the starter aisle is so awful. I can't imagine there being 500 people trying to share the quest mobs. I wanted like 25 minutes to get the sum. Yeah, that's only because there's so many people just now starting up to. Normally, the, the uh, starter aisle is not that populated. He's been adjusting, or the devs have been adjusting the uh, respawn rate some. Um, playing around with it, tinkering with it, and adjusting it, trying to keep up. But normally, uh, whoops, a pastor. Yeah, there's just an overcrowd of suddenly, you know, two to three hundred people are, are, are diving in in that area. So far, a hundred at a time, you know. Uh-oh, server's going down for a little bit. Uh, they need to do some kind of update. Let's f at least, we got 15 minutes to see if we can find her and turn in. Alright. Sarah, let's see if we can at least get this done. Then we can just chat while the server goes down for a little bit. Um, that's good news. They're fixing take something. Care. Uh, Sarah, take small pop clothes. I, uh, should do. You've done admirable work, my friend, and have gone a long way in solving the mystery. She looks over the clothes and says, Yes, all these had the taint of the curse upon them. So she be began to suspect the tree mean family carries a dark curse, and all the wolves that you found these clothes on are victims of that curse. This is the same sad fate that befell the Hainer's son. The tray means do not yet know you are aware of their secret, but they soon will. In fact, you will tell them. You are to travel back to the farm as there is one you need to speak with there. Have you found fortune here? Hmm. The curse consumes nearly all that it afflicts, turning the meekest among them into bloodthirsty hunters. I was right. Some souls fight it enough that they come to feel remorse. They are but a shadow of their former selves, doomed duly with a thirst they cannot satiate and guilt they cannot satisfy. One such soul was, oh no, sounds a Tremine, the wife of Greller and Tremine, and the Tremine family matriarch. Though it could prove dangerous, you may accomplish much by speaking with her. You are oh, welcome. she's in the house there, I've seen her. Um, that's his wife. She's the matriarch of this uh, werewolf family. This world, three continents, is so huge, you really have problems with spawn rates. You rarely, yes, that's right. Just, a, the, you know, the starter zone. You don't have to start in the starter zone, although it's highly recommended. Because you get the flying mount, etc. It's like having a tank with you wherever you go. Having the bear with the shami. Um, yeah, they shouldn't change anything. Uh, what are you talking about now? They need to up the spawn rate for random quest mobs. They're not named or anything. I suggested it and got blasted. Um, Vanguard, the most cozy MMO. Miss it so much. Yeah, what's up, Ambassador? Yeah, it's great, man. You can come play it, man, if you miss it. If you miss it, come join us. So the server's going to be shutting down. we got 13 more minutes. That's enough time for us to uh, swing by here and see what's up with the wife for sure. I think it's this house. There she is. You look lost. Please, travel unless you have pressing business at this farm, I advise you make your visit quick. Glorian, be with you. She shakes her head and says, I'm not sure why you've come, but you must know that it is not safe for you here. Her eyes narrow. I see. The gypsy. She's told you the secret of our family. Yes, well, I wish I could tell you something different, but... What the gypsy says is true. While that fact makes us destined enemies, I have something to ask of you, which I believe is why Sarah truly sent you here. You will do a favor for one who will only try to strike you down once the favor is complete. Need help? This quest keeps breaking every time. We have a major update. We do not have the time to look into this quest. With increased server traffic and several bug reports, we have decided to shut this quest down for now. All you need to do is go to Three Rivers Village and turn in with Lieutenant Melram Prasset for the update. We're sorry for the trouble this caused. We'll get it work as soon as we are able. 
Alright, so what's she say? Uh, among the whole family is afflicted with a curse. My young daughter was born unafflicted. She has a pure soul um, and a good heart. I cannot bear to see her twisted by the dark curse that affects the rest of us. My brother's a lieutenant in the city guard of three rivers, and I ask that you see Sona safely to him. So basically, you'd just be walking her there anyway. Now she doesn't work, so all we gotta do is just go talk to the lieutenant in three rivers. That's fair enough. Nice! I mean, that's a decent fix, so we can, you know, so it doesn't completely stop it. And three rivers is... Wait, where the heck am I on the map? Three rivers is... Somewhere. There he is. He's right here. Okay. Down this way. Perfect. It's so normally you'd have to walk her down this road, I assume. All the way there. What's up, Don? What's up, Don Remez? How you doing, man? You thought I said crazy. Cozy, not crazy. Yes, I am. Dumbo. And ah, uh, they missed an opportunity here. They could have been Gumbo. Got Dumbo, Bumbo, Rumbo, and Grumbo. Up oh, there he is. He's watching old Dumbo up there. Nice weather, eh? He eyes you cautiously. Says, "I apologize, but we must always be on alert for those who would disrupt the order of Lord Renton's land." All right, so here we go. Fighting the good fight. He looks over the note from Salmza. By my own blood, I cannot believe what I am reading. My own sister fell prey to a curse that turned her into an abomination. No part of me wants this to be true, but it is right here in front of me in my sister's own hand, in a note delivered by my own niece. My heart aches at what I must do now, but her letter leads me to believe she knew what must be done. I don't know, however, that I can ever forgive myself. He's going to have to cut her down, isn't he? How can I assist you? Of course, I will take Sona in, although there is a set of entirely different dangers here. She'll be well protected, cared for, uh, however... My sister and her family will still need to be dealt with. I will round up my troops here and begin my way. <coughs> Excuse me, to the farm. But I must ask a favor. I may not be able to bring myself to straight down my own flesh and blood. I would ask you to gather your own friends and release my sister from terrible curse. Release the dreaming family from the curse and speak with Samza. All right. What now? <clears throat> so she sounds like she's going to be a hard one. We're going to need some friends. Server's about to shut down. When was the last update here? How long the servers be down? About 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, great. Thank you. Time for lunch. See everyone soon. Okay. Um, we may take a brief break then. Uh, if it's going to be down for 20 minutes, and then I'll just start the stream back again. Um, uh, you know, there's no reason to... I thought it might just be a quick reset. Uh, but if it's going to be down for about 15 to 20 minutes... Um, We'll just take a break, and when we come back, I'll see if some other people, once the server's back up, want to group up. This next part is a group quest. We might be able to do it, but we might need some more help. Yes. When servers come back up, we will see if others want to join us. So if you got someone, if you got a character around, you know, like... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Um, somewhere, anywhere in that range, and you want to meet us for this quest, uh, let's see where it's at. I think we got time to fly there. Let me make sure I'm even on the right quest here by night. Track quest. Yeah, we're just flying back to where she's at, I'm assuming. 
And does it have to be night time for this quest, I wonder? Who is sweeping the streets after these mounts fly by? It's gotta be... <laughs> it's gotta be raining brown from the sky. Alright, Chris friend. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'll go offline just long enough um, for uh, the server to, you know, whatever they gotta do. And then I'll be back. It's good to see stuff like this, though. Like, they're getting a lot done. Just in the week I've been playing the game, dude. They've... they've add a lot so we're giving them enough support now we're also overwhelming them a bit right like as far as the developers it's just a few people that do this server as far as they're aware it was like i just popped out of nowhere you know what i'm saying it was like hey let's all play vanguard and you know suddenly they're peaking you know hitting over 100 people on the server at a time and that went from like five to six people online at a time and we're all telling them all these bugs and issues so we gotta give them time um but if if what really needs to happen is Daybreak needs to give up the, 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 the database. I'll be making a video directly tagging Daybreak and uh, EG7 in this week um, and releasing it. And I'm going to continue tagging them and getting getting their attention until dialogue is opened. Um, and then we'll go from there and we'll see what we got to do. But guys, uh, it's shutting down five more minutes, so um, well, I'll just take a break. It's a good time for everybody to grab a little lunch, and I will be back uh, after the servers go back up. Then we'll see if we can't get a group together and do this quest. But thank you, everybody. Thanks for the support. I'm going to leave the Super Chat go alone because we'll be continuing here in about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so I'll see everybody then. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the uh, Super Chat. Thanks for everything, guys. And we'll continue right here in about 30 minutes. And until then, my friends, God bless. And happy gaming. Bye.